Cyprus, the third largest island in the Mediterranean. That, due to its proximity to the Holy Land, was one of the first countries to which Christianity was introduced. With their well-preserved churches, the Trudos Mountains are located in the heart of the country. In Padulas, a small village in the Marathasa region, is the Archangel Michael Church. It dates back to the 15th century. From the outside, the church looks like a barn, but inside are a number of colorful Byzantine wall paintings. In order to protect numerous exceptional icons and other religious objects, a museum was established, ensuring the preservation of these centuries-old treasures. Located on a rock in the nearby village of Mutulas is another ancient church. Both its construction and frescoes date back to the 13th century. Referred to as barn roof churches, these buildings often served as a refuge for persecuted Christians and as a hiding place for those art treasures threatened by iconoclasm. The most remote village contains the Agios Ioannis Lambadistis Monastery. The monastery consists of three churches of different ages. Firstly, an 11th century cross dome church. Then a Latin chapel built in the 16th century. Its murals depict the lives of various saints and also the huge tree of Jesse. Next, the adjoining Agios Ioannis Lambadistas church. It was built above the grave of the said saint at the beginning of the 18th century. In the Solia region, there's a monastery that was built in the early 11th century, the main church of which has survived to the present day, the Agios Nicolaos Tistegas Church. The paintings date from the 11th to the 17th centuries and cover the entire interior. Religious art created by the spirit of faith. At the lower end of the village of Galata is the inconspicuous Panagia Porito church, another barn roof church with a pitched roof consisting of brick. It was painted in the mixed Italo-Byzantine style of Venetian times. The Asinal church is situated on a small plateau just outside the village. The magnificent frescoes of its interior are a fine example of Byzantine artistry. First, a mixture of chalk and lime was prepared. Next, an outline of each scene was marked out on the ground with red or yellow paint, and then the various colors were applied. First the light tones, then the darker ones. In Lagodira, the large barn roof serves as a good protection for the Panagia to Araka church, a domed building that dates back to the late 12th century, the time of the Crusades.
An unknown master craftsman of Constantinople created this complete series of mid-Byzantine frescoes in Cyprus around 1102 AD. The images in the vault and on the walls depict warm, lifelike representations from the life of both Jesus and the Virgin Mary. Some distance from the village of Platonistaza, the Stavros to Agiasmati church stands alone amid a forested mountain landscape. In around 1500 AD, Philippos Gul painted the internal walls, which once belonged to a monastery long since decayed. Gul also introduced topics that were outside the traditional canon. So he illustrated the discovery of the Holy Cross by St. Helena. In Orthodox Christianity, the figures were meant to depict images of a true archetype of a divine and holy nature, not one created by man. For centuries, the illustrations were quite similar, and the placement of the images always followed a fixed pattern. paintings that focused on the life of Jesus and according to the most important feasts of the liturgical year. The large village of Paraikori contains the Metamorphosis to Sotiru Church. Situated amid vineyards, it towers over the village with stunning views. In dignified pose, a monk watches over the well-preserved early 16th century frescoes, which almost cover the entire wall space of the church. The style is mostly traditional, but contains some surprises that include the Western use of human facial expression and dynamic figures. Finally, the tiny Timios Stavros church, set in the natural surroundings of the village of Pelendri. This unimposing stone building dates back to the 14th century. Its high, slender dome is supported by four pillars beneath a more recent, ornate metal cross. And more precious Byzantine wall paintings, the treasures of priceless art located amid the untouched Trudos Mountains.